In this video, I am going to talk about monitoring the database mirroring session. To monitor the database mirroring session, two components are important. They are Okay, DBM monitor data table in MSDB and database mirroring monitor job. DBM monitor data table, it contains statistics information about the database mirroring session. This job, database mirroring monitor job, it updates this table. This job, it runs every minute and update the statistics in this table. Okay. When we create the database mirroring session using GUI, the GUI options at the end, it creates this job. Okay, let's take a look at the SQL Server agent. In fact, um, I have, uh, in the if you are watching my previous videos, uh, I have created three database and I mirrored them. Uh, this is high availability database. I set up uh, the witness. This is the witness server and I'm using that witness and um, this is uh, high availability and uh, high performance asynchronous mode and high safety. Okay. So coming back to this uh, database mirroring monitor job, as you can see, this job, when we set up the database mirroring on this instance for the first time, for any database, we are setting up the database mirroring using GUI, the GUI will create this job. Okay, if you take a look at this job, this job executes every one minute and what it does, it executes the stored procedure in MSDB, SPDBM monitor update. So this stored procedure, it updates DBM monitor data table in MSDB. Okay, it collects the mirroring information and updates uh, the table. It keeps on adding row for every for every database for every minute. Okay, so this job it just updates the table, and we cannot. Uh, this is undocumented table. Okay, there is no uh, information available on the Microsoft uh, MSDN site. So we have to use the stored procedure. Uh, by the way, these are the uh, database monitoring uh, catalog views. Okay, so we have a bunch of them. So this is the stored procedure that will expose this table. Okay, let's take a look at the table, what it has. And I got to be in MSDB and uh, is this okay so I am in principal server let's change the context to MSDB and select okay as you can see it just contains the statistics about the mirroring session for every mirror database in this uh, instance okay and this is the stored procedure that exposes this table. Probably uh, if you look into the documentation of the stored procedure, it has got, uh, it returns the, the result set. Most of the columns are one-to-one -one, uh, mapping to this uh, table. Uh, let's execute that stored procedure and see what it has. Probably I may not execute in the same window. Let's open another window and execute here. Okay. 
um, it needs the database name so it this table contains uh, the mirroring session information about every database you can see here uh, five six and seven whatever the mirror databases okay but this stored procedure we need to pass the database name and the stored procedure we can also pass the update table indicator okay so before it returns the results the stored procedure can update the table and returns the results or you can just browse the data whatever is there in the table in the dvm monitor data okay it depends in this case i'm going to just uh, i'm going to see the mirroring information from the dbm monitor data okay um, i'm going to say db mirror ha i need to pass the database name for which database name i wanted to see the mirroring statistics information okay as you can see role mirroring state witness status log generation rate unsent log most of the columns are here okay not only that it contains some calculated values for example uh, transactions per second average delay okay and these are not there in this table this stored procedure it calculates based on the values in this table and sh shows few extra columns okay so whenever you are uh, viewing the the mirror session you need to use uh, this stored procedure okay let's go back to this job the database mirroring setup gui it creates this job okay but if you are setting up the database mirroring session using tsql then you need to execute add monitoring stored procedure at the end of the database mirroring setup to create this job okay if you are watching my previous videos uh, probably in one of the video where i was setting up the database mirroring session using tsql there i mentioned about the stored procedure um, this is the stored procedure we need to execute this stored procedure at the end of the database mirroring setup using tsql this will create this job okay we can set up the database mirroring session without this job but uh, to monitor the mirroring session uh, you need to have statistics about the database mirroring session so you need to have the uh, dbm monitor table and you need to have a job to update the statistics information in the table for you to monitor okay so these two components are very important basics for monitoring the database mirroring session another thing is when this table is created when this job executes for the first time then it creates this table if it is not there and next time onwards it start updating the data into the table okay and that is one such instance when this table is created for example when you are setting up a database mirroring session using tsql you didn't you did not execute the stored procedure to create this job so how does this table will be created in that scenario for example you can monitor the database mirroring session using gui options okay so let's uh, open the monitoring gui option okay so when when i open the monitoring window for the first time it creates a table if the table is not there it creates the table and uh, updates the statistics information in the table and retrieves the information from the statistics and show it here okay it does all in the in the first and after that it's going to just uh, keep updating the you know uh, statistics in the table and you know refreshing this uh, screen okay basically this information this is the 
database mirror information for this table sorry for this database okay so all this information it gets from a dbm monitor results uh, stored procedure that is one of the monitoring uh, stored procedures again let me show you the list of uh, monitoring stored procedure sp underscore dbm okay so this is the stored procedure you need to execute while setting up the mad database mirroring session to create this job okay and these stored procedures alert related stored procedures change alert drop alert help alert so when you are setting up the alerts then you need to use these stored procedures okay to create the alert to enable the alert to disable the alert to drop the alert to see the status of the alert things like that we will we'll get into the alerts later okay and um, add monitoring okay so i just told you about this and change monitoring uh, for example add monitoring creates this job okay and this job executes every one minute and you can change it to every two minutes or five minutes anything you want depends on how frequently you want to update the uh, yeah, dbm monitor data table okay you can also change the schedule using GUI or you can change using change monitoring okay for example I need to pass parameter indicator I think one comma five that means I'm going to up, I wanted to update the schedule for every five minutes okay so right now it is two minutes okay I can change it using the TSQL this way when I execute this let me refresh this uh, job you can see five okay that's what merely it does it just changes the schedule information it just changes the monitoring information okay so you can change it here or you can use the stored procedure to change it okay I'm reverting back to one minute okay it is back to one minute so this is how I can use TSQL to to add the monitoring to change the monitoring you know to add the alert to change the alert things like that uh, to view the monitoring information from the statistics table you can use dbm uh, monitor results things like that okay basically for the monitoring database mirroring session these are the typical catalog views you use okay so we just looked into add monitoring to create this job and change monitoring to change the schedule of this job and drop monitoring to drop this job okay let's try that I'm going to execute the stored procedure which will essentially drop this uh, job sorry del delete this job okay so let's refresh the jobs now you can see there is no job again execute this it will create the job with default options that is every one minute okay all right let's look into some other uh, monitoring catalog views and change alert drop alert help alert we will look into that little later help monitoring it uh, we can use that uh, to view the monitoring stuff and monitor results i think uh, just before we saw that monitoring results it uh, just uh, displays the information from dbm monitor table okay so this will expose the table and monitoring update it updates the table okay there are not uh, many uh, very few and uh, that's pretty much it